Hello everyone, uh, we will be solving uh, the problem find peak element in the array using divide and conquer approach. So uh, in my last video, we solved the same problem uh, using a uh, uh, same problem we solved uh, uh, using brute force method and uh, the complexity was O of N. Now we want to like in this uh, video, basically uh, we will be optimizing that uh, solution and uh, it's so I'll quickly uh, give a brief about the problem. So uh, problem statements is we have a given array of four elements, 5, 3, 10, 8, and we have to find the peak element. So by peak element, I mean the element which is greater than its neighbors. For example, neighbors of 20 are 5 and 10, and 20 is greater than both of its neighbors, which are greater than, uh, which is uh, 5 and 10. So 20 is the peak element. So now let's check for 10. So neighbors of 10 are 20 and 8. And uh, so uh, 10 is uh, definitely not uh, greater than both of its neighbors. So 10 is not the peak element. And there is a special scenario for the leftmost and rightmost element. So basically, uh, if you see the leftmost element uh, doesn't ha have basically have only one neighbor, which is uh, 20 because there is no element on the left of 5 and uh, same applies for the last element as well 8 so there is no element on the right of 8 so 8 has only one neighbor which is uh, 10 okay so now uh, uh, the expected outcome of this problem uh, expected complexity of this problem should be o of leg, log n and last time we solved it with o of n complexity so now whenever somebody uh, like uh, whenever o log n complexity comes right just think about a solution where you can basically ignore uh, one part of the problem straight away basically uh, you can ignore think about a solution where you can divide the problem uh, into two parts and basically by looking at certain conditions you can just ignore one half of the problem uh, straight away uh, um, uh, if uh, you know about binary search right so they are also uh, basically binary search we used to apply on the sorted arrays and uh, problem statement was basically we uh, is supposed to search uh, one element in the array in a sorted array so for example if uh, i am searching for the element four right uh, if let's say i'm searching for the element four in this array and uh, i'll divide the array into two halves okay so uh, let's say six is my middle element so these are two halves two four and eight so uh, now six is my mid basically so now by comparing four with four with my middle element i was deciding whether i have to go to left of the left half of the array or uh, right half of the array now if in this if you see in this case right six is uh, greater than four that means and uh, as array is already sorted uh, that means uh, definitely i can just ignore this part and i can uh, search uh, for four in the left half of the array and the same logic uh, just we'll just check if we can apply the same thing here as well so as complexity is log n so we can try if we can solve this by dividing that into two halves so uh, let's say if uh, let's say 10 is my middle element and uh, i have two parts of the array 5 20 and uh, 8 okay so now peak element is the element which is greater than its neighbors right so uh, 10 is my middle element now i want to check if 10 is peak or not so i can come i have to compare 10 with 20 right 10 is less than 20 and uh, 10 is greater than 8. It's definitely not the peak element because this doesn't satisfy this criteria. So now, but what, what I can try, like how I will decide in which part I should go to. Okay, so now criteria here is, is greater than, right? Criteria here is, is greater than, basically element should be greater than its neighbors so now if you compare 10 with 20 right so 20 is greater than 10 and 8 is less than 10 
so now since our criteria is greater than the possibility of getting higher element on is on the left side so i will definitely go and search in my left half and i will ignore the right half okay so because 10 is greater than 20 now what uh, we have like we just ignore the second half now we will search for the peak element in the this array now let's say uh, we have two element right let's say now 20 is my middle element now i will compare 20 with uh, left and right both 20 is definitely greater than 5 and 10 both so 20 should be the my answer 20 is basically my answer okay and let's say if there are more than uh, one peak element in the array um, so you can return anything that should be fine and uh, let's say in the uh, if uh, um, there is no peak element in the array basically all of elements are not uh, greater than its neighbors any of the basically element is not greater than its neighbors in the array then in that case output should be minus one okay so uh, that's let's now uh, look into the code quickly i'll open this as well here okay so uh, as uh, i explained earlier like uh, we will be first calculating the middle element so here is uh, uh, middle is basically start plus and minus start by two so now I have the middle element and uh, I am basically comparing array of mid minus one with array of mid. Basically, I'm comparing mid minus one and I am comparing 10 with middle plus one also. Middle plus one condition is safe. But as I explained earlier, these are two special cases, corner cases, like because five uh, uh, if let's say a uh, middle element is zero right that's a special case uh, where element doesn't have any element on its left side and um, if th that's the special case handled here if middle is equal to equal to zero then just ignore uh, uh, don't check uh, this left part and uh, second is if uh, middle is area of length minus one basically this last element then also ignore this right check and just return mid from here okay now here uh, uh, we are basically next uh, let's say i compare 10 and i know that 10 is not peak element and it's not satisfying this condition so now i have to decide whether i have to go to the left half or right half so that's the check here if middle is less than middle minus one let's here 20 is uh, 10 is uh, less than 20 right that tells me that the probability of getting the element on the right side is higher so I have to go on right side so my end should be uh, now at uh, my uh, array uh, which I have to consider is this right 5 and 20 so uh, in the binary search my end will change to middle minus 1 and if let's say my element is on the right half then my uh, uh my start will change my start will be middle plus one and uh yeah and we have to pass so this is basically done using a uh, recursive uh, approach so you can try a iterative approach too yeah that's all like if middle is greater than zero and uh, my middle element is less than my middle minus one i'm uh, just doing the same thing again basically calling the same method again and uh, else if middle is greater i'm going on the right half yeah that's it because uh anyways we are like basically ignoring one uh, half of the array at a time right so that uh like basically brings a complexity of o of log and because we are not touching all the array elements okay so i have pushed this uh code into my uh uh, github uh, account so 